What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stalker SOC Shadow of Chernobyl. We are actually in here just wiping out an entire military base by ourselves because that's just the sort of G'd out badass that we are right now. If somebody could walk into a military base and just like flatten everything, that's an impressive feat. It's it's talented. Oh look, we got a couple of enemies back up in there too. Are they bad guys? Sometimes you got a cursor. Let me see here. I should probably also turn off that lamp just in case. Yeah, they're definitely less than friendly from what I can tell. And they're ready for us, so that'll be fun when I'm trying to break out of this place still. It looks like we're outside of range for right now. What I wanted to do is I just wanted to canvas around and make sure that we got everybody dug up out of all these towers. Just make sure that we have no foes hanging out, just making our lives miserable by firing down upon us with 1.21 gigawatts of gunfire bullets. That's going to be one of those redundant things. It's sort of like stabature swords, gunfire bullets. Get out of that tower, you bastard. I didn't know if that was going to work. I mean, in other first-person shooters, what I would have done is I would have just fired through the wood because you're allowed to do that in a lot of games. I'm hoping those guys way the hell over there don't get any bright ideas or any dim ideas. I don't want them to have any ideas at all. They can just stay where they are for right now. I'll come get you later. I'll come get you later. We went through a lot, and I mean a ton, like seriously, a very, very great deal of medical supplies trying to clear this place out. And so for right now, let's see if we can't get ourselves a couple of new pieces of equipment. We got a lot of dead guys around here, and so we got to do the little loot and scoot action that we typically do. Did I pick up an extra AK? Why did I pick up an extra AK-74? Is there a reason I did that? I mean, I'm going to unload it, and I'm going to drop it so that I can get some of this weight back. We threw away a whole bunch of our medical supplies just getting into this place and surviving, so unfortunately, we're going to have to live with that result. But that does leave us with a little bit of extra space for that special AK-47 that we can find in here. Why are you guys running around? You're on a military base right now. Like, why do you have so many backpacks and things? Like, why was that necessary if you actually, like, live here? Although it is a little bit torn up. Maybe they're just trying to, like, scavenge or something out here. Who even knows? I'm trying to estimate how much treasure I'm going to miss in this place. All right. Hey, what's up, pal? Somebody feeling real froggy, right? Leap then, son. Leap. Mm-hmm. You want this to get frosty? You can get chilly real quick up in here. We can distribute bullets in your direction, too. You could have just walked away. Think about that right now as you stare up into the sky with your final breath. Just think, look at his portrait right there. He's, like, so surprised. Like, oh, look, a camera. He's like, oh, my God, somebody wants to take my picture. See, whenever I used to come out as a kid, my mom used to hide the camera. She'd be like, we don't want pictures of you around the house. I'm like, wow, things were so much better before you got here. I'm like, wow, that wasn't very kind. That's one of those mean things. You should not say that to a kid right now. I realize that we are in a bleak, destroyed world right now, but he looks really excited to see that camera. I kind of feel guilty for killing him now. I figure if we go, th go through the... All right, so we got an OK AK right there. Who, the OK AK? That's got to be a named item in some game somewhere. The OK AK. We'll grab that right there. All right. Oakley Doakley. Beer and Smokely. I think we'll go... Should I even... That screaming noise needs to stop, like, right this second. I can't properly raid places and steal loot while people are screaming up at the sky and, like, doing weird supernatural death noises. Does this open? The door is locked. How do I get in there? Oh, you shoot the lock off. That's pretty badass. I don't know. I had never considered that before. Is this one locked? Ah, that's super cool. That's hella legit. I like that. You can actually shoot the lock off. Nothing inside that little crate right there. I'm actually disappointed by the fact of how little loot there is. What we should do right now is we should actually... I need to be able to see. So what I'm going to try and do is let's use that real quick. And we'll rest until... Oh, I don't know. Morning. Yay, darkness and weird repeating noises that are probably a glitch. Hooray, but it's daytime. That was the ultimate goal. Oh, we're hungry? How are we hungry? I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen. How did I not know that? Where do you see a hunger meter at? That's a little bit weird. Maybe it's part of the mod or something. Either way, we have killed a ton of people over here. So let me see if I can get some of these final little patches of loot. Nah, forget it. We got enough bullets and we got we got 500 rounds right now. When will I ever go through 500 rounds? It just doesn't seem possible. Like, I just don't see how we're going to go through that many bullets. Inside Agriprom, we needed, I don't know, a briefcase or something from in here. Are these worth destroying? 
Because we could use medical supplies. I went through a lot of them. And then what is this supposed to be over here? Looks like there's something inside that little room right there. We can't get through from right there. Can we get through from the other side? I hear soldiers. So I'm going to make a twitch judgment right now and say that we're probably not alone. Can we open up all these cabinets? Is there anything inside of them? Wait, what? Oh, there's a stash there's supposed to be anyways. Not going to be anything in it, though, because we haven't unlocked it yet. Destroy that. Get the gun back out. Since we're at close range, I bet we could use the Fort 15 for a little bit. Might work out. Might not work out. We might get blazed on right here. Might get blazed on super hard, but... See if I can move silently through some of these locations. Yeah, somebody is walking around in here. Grab some medical supplies. See if maybe this stash is actually accessible over here on this side. There it is. It has a silencer, an effective silencer. Okay, weapons of any caliber. I don't know where this guy is at. He's got to be around here somewhere, though. Maybe we should just keep going up the stairs. We're looking for... There's a little shiny light bulb. Wow, that guy took tons of bullets, and he's still perfectly fine. I shot him in the eyebrow, and he's just like, eh, that's okay. It'll grow back. Like, what? That's not my first thought when I get shot in the eyebrow. I'm not down with that. And they all fall down the exact same way. Every single one. What do you have for me? You got some potted meat right there? Hell yeah, I'll take it. Oh, that actually kills the alarm. Maybe he's a commander. I noticed his fancy little beret that he has right there. His beret, if you will. Never call it a beret in front of him. That'll probably result in you having to do push-ups. Even if you're not in the military, you'd be like, oh, that's a nice bread. He'd be like, drop and give me 20. And I'd be like, I'm not in the military right now. Drop and give me 20. I'm not in the... Drop and give me 20. Can you do... Is this a thing that can happen? Give me 20. I'm like, God, it's almost easier just to give you the 20 right now and stop complaining about it. A perfect AK-74 right there is a backup for when that one breaks, which it will. I might take that and we might hike it out. It seems like a good plan. How often do you get a perfect gun that you get to loot? Eh, not very often. Is that the briefcase? Okay, and so... Alright, you're going to be pushy about it. you got to be pushy about it. I'm trying to get there. I'll have you know, though, I'm sort of behind enemy lines right now. They were doing lines when I came in. It's definitely... It's not a good example to set for the children. But... So long as I don't have to participate. What's up with all these lamps and shit in here? Can I point this at somebody? Let me point this spotlight at somebody. No, I can't point this spotlight at anybody. Well, that has ruined my life, and I no longer want to be doing I quit the playthrough. It's all over. We're done. We're never playing the game again. It's finished. I like their elevator music. It's like the opening music from every song from the 70s. Or, I'm sorry, the song from every opening cinematic or every opening introduction to every sitcom from the 70s. There we go. Typically, there's like a boat. They're in Miami for some reason. Everything took place in Miami in the 70s and early 80s. That's just, you know, a little history lesson right there for the kids that might not have been around back then. I wasn't around back then either, but I caught the tail end of it. I wonder if that's like... I hope that's not copywritten music. This could be troublesome for me. This could be very, very troublesome. Then again, they're using AK-7... Did they pay the makers of the AK-74 in order to do that? I've heard that gun companies... So what I read somewhere... It was in a magazine or something. I don't remember where I read this. It was a gaming magazine where... If you use real guns in your video game... You actually have to pay the company that makes the gun... In order to use the sound and everything else. Ooh. You should have paid attention better. That guy was me in every online multiplayer FPS ever, just wandering around being like, Oh my god, look at the textures on the side of this building. They look so nuts. Ah, you shot me! I was trying to appreciate the textures, and now I'm dead. <laughs> Hate this game. I no longer want to play anymore. Oh, tell me we can steal the helicopter. No. I'm trying to steal your helicopter. Stop shooting at me. I'm going to say, I can't tell if he actually got that grenade off, but judging from the resulting earthquake tectonic explosion, I'm assuming that he did. I'm going to advance my position a little bit. 
He's coming around either on that side or on the left side. We'll find out in just a moment. Unfortunately, they seem to aim a little bit better than some of the bandits, too. I don't know if this is a wise time to reload. Eh. Yep, worst time ever. That hesitation was all it took. Oh, man, we're both doing the same thing. There we go. I don't know if something hit the ground right there, and I don't know if it's a bullet or another grenade. I don't think it's a grenade because it hasn't blown up yet. Did I get him? I kind of felt like that grenade was pretty well on point. Okay, I can hear him talking to himself right now. I think he's down. Yeah, he's down. We got him covered. Ooh. Sorry, pal. I can't risk you doing anything foolish. Wrong place, wrong time, and all that. Oh, there he is. Okay, so they're dug into the hillside. Come on. Get down. I don't want to risk grenades. That's why I'm trying to kill these guys so desperately. It's not even the gunfire I'm worried about. It's always the grenades. The grenades are super problematic. Pretty sure that's everybody. So now I have to worry about people snapping back at me. Grab some medical supplies, some random stuff off, off the ground. Pretty soon this gun's going to be worthless, which is disappointing, but... Oh, well, what can you do about it? If I remember correctly, there's a ton of anomalies in this zone, like out in the little hill areas over there. I think that was just about it for us, though. I think we finished off everybody. But yeah, when I played this game before, I remember wandering around the hills out here and, like, finding all kinds of goodies or something, so... I don't know. If you're playing on your own and you're not having to entertain people for YouTube, you probably want to wander around and see if there's any treasure around. For me, I'm a lazy prick, and also, additionally, I'm trying to keep the whole thing, like, functioning and moving in a direction that is not backwards, and so, obviously, I have to make concessions when it comes to being a completist, or a completionist. A completist? A completist doesn't sound right. Completionist. This guy, we might be able to get the jump on if I can move up on him quietly. Sergeant Mikhailov. He might see us. Let's get behind the pole. There we go. Alright, we wasted him. Definitely a waste of a life, but still. We had to escape from this place without getting whacked. And so there it is. There's a bunch of anomalies out here. Like I said, you can make a fortune running around grabbing anomalies out of here. You basically front stock for a bid chunk of the game if you can find it all. I'm reloaded. We got 500 rounds. Wow, we're in great shape right now. If I do say so myself, look at these abs! No, I don't know how in shape our character is. He wears a big poofy wool sweater underneath everything, so it's hard to tell. Then again, I don't know why I'm appraising my character's fitness either. He's able to run around with 60 keys on him, so that's not too terrible. That's pretty good, like sprinting and causing all kinds of trouble. The hell was that? Oh. Yikes. It's like a dogapult or something. I think a mutant actually wandered out onto that anomaly and then it threw him up into the air and killed him or something. I don't know. It blew him up and it threw him up. And he wasn't in much shape to tell us after that. Is there anything in here? Can you get in there? I don't think you can. It's only the one guy back here. Looks like it's only the one guy. We should be all right. I'm overweight, so our stamina is going to be a little bit low for the next bit. Probably pick you up while I'm here. Yep, come along with me. Every couple thousand rubles helps, especially once we get further into the game and there's going to be some expensive loot around. Although I think the best loot in the game, you can get it fairly early on. There's like a rifle in the game that I remember people always talking about. It's got like a triple scope on it or something like that. They always talk about how it's like the best gun in the game and how once you get that, you don't really need anything else. I don't know who's shooting, but then again, we are in the zone. What map are we on right now? Are we in garbage or like where the hell are we? Oh, we're actually, okay. So I think this over here is where we got into that gunfight to try and save Mole. And so if we cut back this way, we should be alright. There's another anomaly over there. I think we should be okay. It makes me sad. I don't think my energy regenerates while I'm in my map screen. It makes me sad. Like, you've actually got to, like, sit here and be in-game for your stamina to go away. Yeah, this place is coated in military. 
I mean, literally, now that I've gotten done shooting them, but you know what I mean. It was figurative at first, but I suppose we can make it literal. So, as a little warning here, a lot of people will say that is literally the worst thing that I have ever seen. That's not how you use the word literally. Literally only applies to things that are figurative. And so, I don't know. Let us say if you said somebody was the cock of the walk, and then you were talking about the most popular rooster, like, in your entire pen... When you use that phrase, you'd be like, he is the literal cock of the walk. And because it's figurative, it's a thing that you use figuratively in order to describe a situation. Whereas with regards to saying it's literally the worst thing you've ever seen, that's that's not the way that literal is used. I figured I'd throw it out there because people do that all the time. Like, seriously, it's probably one of the most common things I hear. I always figured that, you know... It's always easier to bring it up because, like... After somebody says that, you don't want to correct them because that makes you seem like an asshole. Simultaneously, though, this is like a neutral territory. This is a neutral territory where nothing's currently... Nobody's actually done that right now. And so I'm sure that I've done it in a couple of my videos. It's because we're raised to do that here in the United States. Like, everybody makes that mistake. Like, you hear your parents do it or you hear the people around you do it. Let's see, we got a med kit right there. We're pretty overweight at the moment. Pretty soon we're not going to be able to walk anymore, but I could use all these supplies. That's the biggest issue. That's Private Boyko. Bad day to be Private Boyko. A terrible, terrible day. Of all the people on this map that you do not want to be, Private Boyko is probably that guy. I guess we'll eat a little bit of meat right there. That'll take our weight down slightly. We're carrying around, actually, not that weighty of military documents. We need to find another repair kit so we can keep this thing up and running. Our other repair kit despawned on us when we dropped it over there. I should go back and look for it. But anyways, transition time! Alright, welcome back, everybody. I gotta do, every time I do that transition, DX Tori does something weird whenever I transition zones in this game. And so I try to actually cut the recording and then resume it every single time that, and I don't mean like resume on into it, I mean just resume it as though, oh yeah. I don't think I have to use badass guns anymore because we're just up against bandits now. So this shouldn't actually be too bad. We need to assist with the defense over here as per usual. The good part is they should pay us again once we get this done. Let me see if I can get a grenade out that far. And see, there's that lag problem that I always have again. Past a certain arc, it's not even worth it anymore, but I'll try for right now. There we go. I think I got a couple of them over there. And hopefully they don't know where the shot is coming from or where the grenade came from. Essentially, I just need to leave, like, relieve pressure over here, though. There we go. I just wanted to run and shoot at the same time. He's down. He's got a Frank coming through right there. I saw his feet up under the door. Give him a little bit of the old hip fire. Use the Fort 15 for right now. Can I shoot him in the foot through there? That'd be super awesome if I could. Oh, he's on my side. Never mind. Why are you coming all the way out here, man? No, that's another one of our guys, too. Who are you guys shooting at? I think they might be bugged out or something. Hold on. I'm glad that friendly fire doesn't make them angry at me because if somebody put that many rounds into me, I'd be super pissed off. I'd be like, you're a dick and I hate you. Hey. I want my reward. You're being kind of pushy right now. I don't really like it. On this side, we got some more ammunition, a little bit of bread. There's a trash bin stash. So I guess it's a stash bin. Be a trash bin, stash bin. This guy got locked in his Big Mac, his Big Mac eating animation forever. Like, you remember that Big Mac? We got that one time when we were on the way back from Fremont, and like we were so hungry, like we had been out like all day and we hadn't eaten anything. And oh my God, I think that might have been the best Big Mac that we'd ever had while we were on the way back from Fremont. And I'm like, oh yeah. Everybody has a memory like that where you ate like normally shitty food, but you were so hungry because you hadn't like eaten that day or whatever. Or it had just been like a long, exhausting day. It had been such a shitty day that you just didn't think about it. And you're just like, oh my god, this is so delicious right now and I feel so sustained. Eating is one of my favorite parts of the day. It really is. I love eating. Eating is great. I wish that you could just eat and never gain weight. And also it would cost you no calories because I would, see it, I would spend tons of money just sitting around eating all day. I love snacking too. I have a problem with it. Snacking is the greatest. I'm making people hungry right now with this, aren't I? Oh, so you don't want to talk to us anymore, Saria. All right, I see how it is, Saria. And maybe the guy we have to talk to is back here. I'll put it away. Calm down, Zippy. Getting all excited over here. What do you have? 5,000 RU is what you have. I'm going to be selling you the good shit up in here. Hold on, what do you want? 
I got artifacts. So you want an urchin? Yeah, take an urchin right here. What else you want? You want what does this cost? That thing's forty-five. Are you? You want a fireball? Take a fireball. Enjoy these things out of my inventory right now. I don't know if maybe we can't turn in the quest until he goes back to the fire. Man, eh, he's still kind of broke. He's got some bullets though. We sold him all of our meat, so at least we know where the tourist delight is if we ever want it back. However, for right now, I just need to sell stuff, so maybe fine. It said that we should get a reward. I don't know who's giving out the rewards here, but somebody needs to grease that palm. I'm feeling like people don't properly love me given the fact that I just saved all these guys. I'm going to give you this because I like you. How's that sound? Sound good? We need to give back all these jellyfish, too. We're about to make a fortune off some of this stuff, though. So if I go to my PDA right now, where do I turn this thing in? Oh, there's actually no turn in here right now. Okay. Well, never mind then. I've never liked the way that the map worked in this game. It always throws me off. Alright, well, we got rid of a little bit of weight right there. Not much, but it's something. We talk to some of these little guys and see if any of them have bankrolls like I need them to have. Yeah, that guy's got bankrolls. Let's give him all of those. We gotta keep a couple jellyfishes for right now. How much does a jellyfish go for, though? Enough. Trade that on over. Make a little bit of cash right there. And then everything else. I'm keeping the extra AK-47 because I think this one's actually going to fall off pretty soon. Yeah, it's actually got double the rate of fire, it looks like. It's a pretty good gun right there. It's a pretty good gun right there. I'm excited about it. Planning on using it against anything that decides to get in my way. You got 5,000? Good. If you got 5,000, then take all these artifacts off my hands, man. I don't even want them anymore. These are not doing anything for me except weighing me down. So there it is. We got almost 36,000 rubles. Is that a lot of money? Somebody from Russia will have to tell me how much 36,000 rubles is because I have no idea what the conversion rate is right now. Alright, so it's pouring rain as per usual. I figure we just head for the objective for right now. We don't have a whole lot of stuff to do at the moment. We could go back and we could talk to... Well, let's go turn this in over here. Once we turn this in, what I'll do is I'll teleport back because I think we can go to the escape menu and press J. It allows us to teleport. In fact, let me test it out right now. Let me see here. What can that do? Oh, yeah. You can go back to Corden like so. Well, let's do that then, and we'll sell off and turn in some of these quests, huh? Okay, so I, I don't know if that's an intended feature, but as part of the mob, you can actually, like, teleport around right now so that you can get in between locations a little bit faster. I don't know what... I don't know what effect that's going to actually have on our game as we go through. It might have negative effects. I don't know. Here for the job, so we'll turn in the artifact, and we killed the bandit, so we got an RGD5... We got $1,000, 1,500 rupees or rubles. I'm sorry, rupees. I don't know why I'm thinking about rupees right now. I started playing. There we go. We'll get rid of some of this stuff. And then we have, like, a lot of these. So I'll probably unload a pretty good amount of those because we don't need them. Some people are like, you should really hold on to your ammunition. But we get so much of it, really? Like, I just, I have trouble, like, believing that. Like, we have so much ammunition. All right, so we got that right there. Do I need seven grenades? I don't know. I'm going to keep them on me. They seem like they'd be helpful. Everything else is semi-valuable, or at least will be useful in certain situations. So I figured that should get at least some. Let me see here. That should get our weight down a little bit. We're at 51 right now, and it's mostly because we're carrying around this extra AK-74. It's in really good shape, but what else could we possibly get rid of then? I don't... So we got the full metal jackets. We need those, I think, right there for... Actually, we're not even using the MP5. So I don't know why I'm hoarding all this ammunition, but maybe it's wiser for us just to get rid of it all. I don't know. We'll find out later. So the way that this works, if you wanted to see, is you press J right here, and then it just takes you... It actually doesn't take you to the other zone. It just teleports you to the zone edge, and so there it is. Either way, I figure I'm going to run some errands right now as far as the game is concerned. And then once I'm done with those, we'll come back and we'll do the next episode because we're just about out of time for today. So, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. I appreciate you all being here. It's a real blast playing the game with all of you. And I feel very, very privileged every day that I get to hang out and like play video games for a living with all of you. And just have a good time and just like crack jokes and brighten your day as well, which is very, very important to me. So, I'll see you all later. Hi to everybody.